Okay, so I laid out the screen material here on the floor in the garage. And I measured 76 width. And so I added 3 inches to that to make it uh, uh, 82. Because I'm going to fold them over and make a border. I'm just going to make a border at the top. And what you'll see is, because uh, that's where I have the hooks for the strengthening. And what I do is I throw a blanket on. Because one, I don't like nailing on concrete. And if you walk back and forth all the time, you're going to get footprints all over this black material. So anyhow, that's the start. Uh, these are simple tools. I'm going to fold it up. And I'm going to use uh, double-sided tape to hold it together. And uh, I got that from Amazon too. And then uh, what I'll do is uh, I got a big roll of it. And uh, I'll just put it along there, give a three inch border. And then I'll put the grommets on. Wow. So here I've measured out a three inch overlap and I taped it down because uh, it's such a long length. And I've gone over the edge just to put a crease in it with a roller but you could probably do that with almost anything with just your hand but it's good to put a little crease in it so you don't get lost while you're uh, doing the assembly so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fold it back over a little bit I'm going to put the double sided tape on and then that will hold it in place when I do my grommets and I'll bend the, I'll bend the uh, corners over too and get a 3 inch there so actually when I make my grommet, I'll be going through four layers. Okay, I'm going to do that next, set that up and show you how I do it. I'm just going to show one and you can extrapolate from there on all of them. But I'm actually going to put three on top and uh, two on the bottom because it doesn't really matter if it sags or if it... Okay, you can see right here I have a nice crease along there. Now I'm going to put the tape on. Okay, you see I have the two-sided tape on there. I haven't started just to show you how it is. Before you do this, the step there's a step where you really have to go take your finger along there or take your roller and just really press down hard so that when you pull it off, uh, it stays. You'll also notice, well, I'm going to go ahead and pull it off right now, okay? You'll just, you won't show it, but it's all the way the length. And the reason we're doing this is to hold everything in place. It doesn't really matter afterwards, but we want to hold it in place while we're putting the grommets in. Okay? Okay, now you notice I have when I took the tape off that was holding it down, I just flipped it onto the edge so that I have a marker to line it up with. So now I'm going to, I just have that, I have four pieces of tape. I know where to line it up. So now I'm going to press it down. You won't see that because I'm using two hands. Okay, I got it pressed down and go along it with your hand. Okay, I'm going to take this tape off now because I don't need it any longer. And then I'm going to do this edge here. Okay, this holds everything in place. So, and I'm just going to do the grommet in that one corner. Okay, so it doesn't take very long. It's pretty easy. Uh, just make sure you have a sharp hole punch. Okay, let me get started on that. Okay, here's the measurement with the tape down. I already put my crease in it. Okay, next step, untape it and put the uh, uh, double-sided tape on and fold it over. I'm just going to go ahead and do that because you already saw me. Okay, so I made a hole, went back and measured where I hung my hook, and uh, I'm going to measure, and I made a hole in it, and that's where I'm going to put the ground. Okay, wait, I got this kit. Amazon 
it's, it's 10, 11 bucks in a day or so. And this is what I've been using and what I'll use. So I showed you that hole that I had made for the measurement. And basically I'm lining up this part of the kit. They give you a number two different sizes and they give you some gremlets in there. First thing you have to do is pound through to make your hole. One. The gimlet, I'm going to do that. Kind of have to pound around because it doesn't, it comes crooked. Cuts on one side better than the other. I use, I've been using a file to sharpen the end. I use a round file. And uh, let me finish this up. And one. Okay, there's the hole. I made it with the larger size. Uh, punch that came with the kit. I'm going to set this down. You can see what's happening now. I take the bounding board. Additionally in the kit is this round anvil. Put that on the bottom. Put one of the bottom brass things. That these are the ones with the big color. Stick it through. Okay. Put it back. Center it right on that anvil. Get a top. top one that goes on the top of the gremlet. Push it down. They have two different sizes of punches. I'm using the bigger one. Put it in. And whack it down. So there you go. There's the front back. I mean you can make it just lined up which is which. But it's real easy to do. I'm going to do it on all four corners. Well I'm not going to go all the way down there. But I'm going to put one in the middle and one under there. And then and then that'll be it. And then I'll go and I'll tie up the bottom. And But it's simple to do. It'll take me a couple more minutes to finish this whole thing up. And then when it's done I'll show it to you. Okay, so I hung these up. Uh, this is the way they look. <clears throat> I'm going to take them down because it's only April and it's not really hot yet. And uh, I use even, you know, 85%, they say, basically 85% of the heat inside your house comes through your windows. And with this, with this screening, it absorbs 90% of the heat. So I look for a better balance this summer when it gets up to 110, 120 in this area because the heat just beats down on it from sunlight to sundown. This is Southwest California. So I'm sure it'd work other Southwest regions of the U.S. too. Okay, that's it. Very simple to do. I take them, I'm going to put them up back up in like June after the fog is down and then I'll take them down in October so that I can benefit from the sunlight. Thank you. Ask me any questions. Bye.